So what happens when you take too much gear with you, including multiple Sony camera bodies, lenses, a drone, a GoPro, and a phone to a tropical island? Expectedly, I found I brought too much stuff. Yeah, as I'm now going through all my footage, I'm trying to decide what gear I didn't need and which might have done it all. So I brought my Sony a7C II with multiple lenses, my ZV-E1, my GoPro, my DJI Mini 2, and my Google Pixel 8 Pro to a small African nation, but I'll be focusing mostly on my Sony cameras as I trek across various locations with photo, video, and some POV beach shooting. So if you're planning your next trip abroad, or if you're shopping for a new camera and need help deciding which you may want, then this video will be as informative as it is chilled out, giving you some much needed beach vibes along the way while comparing both my Sonys. Okay, here I am in Mauritius. I'm on my Sony A7C over here, and my Sony ZV-E1. Now, if you didn't know, Mauritius is a small island in the Indian Ocean, uh, closest to Madagascar, but it's part of Africa. And it is beautiful here. It uh, looks like it's about to rain, but I really wanted to test out my Sony A7C II and my ZV-E1. Now, before I get into all the things I did wrong, which makes me seriously question, is a lens selection more important than which camera you have and what settings you're in? And I'll get into all that, but before, let's just take you back to the beach. Now, before I finish this walkabout in my absolute favorite few locations, in which I will also be briefly comparing some pics between my Sony's and my phone, and has me rethinking my whole setup, and that sort of worries me for a few reasons, but because I have several of these POV videos up now, starting in Dubai, as this was part of one big trip, and now here in Mauritius with both my full-frame Sony cameras and my Google Pixel 8 Pro, where I separated the videos between my proper cameras and my phone while sprinkling a few comparisons in, which I'll be doing that again. But my next POV video here, I will focus solely on my Pixel 8 Pro. Yeah, honestly, if you have the latest, say Samsung or iPhone, then the results will likely be pretty similar. And again, to my surprise, in several instances, my phone did a better job, but still without question, I think you'll notice my two Sonys, especially as hybrid devices, captured moments that a phone in 2024 still cannot. But which Sony did it better might be a better question. So I've decided to take both of my compact travel cameras with me on my travels to both Mauritius and Dubai, and I've decided that I can't keep both of them, I don't think. And I also plan on doing a dedicated video comparing the Sony a7C II and the ZV-E1. Now, over the course of my two and a half weeks in Mauritius, it wasn't all just a walk on the beach, but I will get into more of my favorites along the coast, but there were a few other locations, more inland, that I got to test both cameras out that I think took some of the most interesting shots that first were a few factories that I toured, a furniture factory and a denim mill, both had a lot of fascinating lines and shapes. Also, this might have been the coolest pic that I got, but I was at my in-laws and we were celebrating Diwali, so I was at their house and my mother-in-law has quite a green thumb, so I got to take some pictures of flowers with both my cameras and my phone. But it was this space that I fell in love with the most, and the light perfectly flooding into this tennis court. Thank you. 
Now the creepiest slash coolest shots that I got were back at the hotel where we had a massive flying furry friend that visited us often. So this bat, which is hard to get the scale of, was huge and almost every night at sundown would fly around. But since I did not bring a telephoto lens, what I did was I used my not so good kit lens in a not so recommended crop mode. So it was a slow lens with poor resolution. And yet I got these two shots, which actually started here. So I was generally pleased. And although I don't recommend the kit lens, it has saved me in several instances. As with all that I packed, going compact and light is as essential as it is difficult. I really wish Sony would make another compact full frame zoom, even a slow variable aperture telescoping 28 to 75 would be amazing. Honestly though, I wish I just brought one do it all lens, even if it wasn't compact. Ideally, Sony's 24 to 70 f 2.8 GM2 would be it. And yet, up to now, I've mostly been using the Sony A7C2, but some of my favorite photos were actually taken on the ZV-E1, which may have more to do with the lens I had on that camera. Now, recently I rented the Nikon ZF, a video dropping for that soon, and their expensive 24-70 f2.8, which like Sony's, is more expensive than these camera bodies themselves and is massive, but does really solidify how important good glass is. And I can definitely say I didn't bring any good glass with me, but I did at least bring some interesting lenses. So let me show you the Sony ZV-E1 in action, and maybe my favorite super fast and super budget manual focus lens that I never leave home without. Okay, so this is the Sony ZV-E1 in Mauritius still. And I'm finding that I'm using this camera more for sort of low light, which is not surprising. But I'm also using it a lot less than I thought it would compared to the Sony A7C2. Maybe it's because I'm just trying to get used to the A7C2. So I'm giving it a sort of extra chance. So this is the Rokinon 18mm f2.8 from the Sony a7C2. You probably can't hear me because I don't have a mic attached or a windscreen, so it's probably going to be a lot of noise reduction happening. Um, but yeah, I'm in Mauritius again, um, doing a little walk and talk with my GoPro, um, little POV Sony beach shots. I, I don't see a lot of people doing these, but uh, it's, it's a beautiful day on the beach. There's nobody around. Um, and it's been sort of like humid and rainy and thundering and yet there's the sunset over there uh it's really calm and relaxing my family are back at the hotel just chilling so i get to play with a camera and maybe i'll fly a drone here later yeah it's about as beautiful as it gets now throughout all this, I am in 4K 24 frames per second in video and manual mode, and my JPEGs and video are mostly in picture profile 11 as Cinetone. And for me, the most important thing here is subject matter. What are you shooting? And then how you are composing the shot. And my main word of advice is, take more shots than you need because sometimes I think I've nailed composition within the EVF or within these not so great monitors and then later I find out that I didn't. So take more pictures even if you think you already got the shot and in video I literally always make this mistake all the time but hold for at least 10 seconds longer than you think you need. I often think I capture the shot that I wanted and then I bring it back into the computer and I didn't hold for long enough. And instead, I just have very shaky, unusable clips of something that's almost beautiful. So snap more and roll longer and maybe bring less, <laughs> a lot less. Now, as I list out all the gear that I brought on screen, know that I had planned to make these comparison POV videos on my travels, hence taking so much gear and so much subpar compact gear. And I was with my family as well and my five-year-old, so space was limited. And if I could do it again, I'd probably take just one camera body and one to two lenses tops. And yet the question I still don't have the answer for is, 
which camera and which lens would that be? So what would you take or what do you take on your travels with you? So please describe either your ideal travel kit or your actual one in the comments below as I'm always looking to learn from what works from others in hopes that I can finally dwindle down my travel gear to as few items as possible while not sacrificing what and how I shoot. So thank you all for your time and attention. I have a bunch more videos about videos like this on the way, so consider following along and subscribing. All right, thanks guys. Bye.